Welcome to Divorce in North Carolina. Today we will be discussing the separation agreement and what topics should be included in the agreement. One of the items that should be covered in the separation agreement is equitable distribution, how a couple's assets and debts should be distributed after a divorce. Check out my video on equitable distribution. I wish I had a separation agreement in place when I was going through my divorce. It would have saved me time and money. If you get value from this video, please subscribe. Ever pondered over what topics need to be covered in a separation agreement? It's a question that can be a bit daunting, especially in an emotionally charged situation like a separation or divorce. However, knowing what to include can make the process less stressful and more straightforward. Today, we delve into the essential topics that need to be addressed in a separation agreement. First up, there's the division of property. This includes all assets acquired during the marriage, such as the marital home, cars, and savings. It's vital to decide who gets what and ensure that the division is fair and equitable. Next, there's the issue of spousal support, often referred to as alimony. This is a payment made by one spouse to the other to maintain a standard of living similar to that enjoyed during the marriage. Factors such as the length of the marriage, each spouse's earning capacity, and the standard of living during the marriage are considered when determining alimony. Then there's child custody and visitation. If there are children involved, the agreement should include who will have custody, the visitation rights of the other parent, and any special arrangements for holidays or vacations. Child support is another crucial topic. This is the amount of money that the non-custodial parent is required to pay the custodial parent to assist with the costs of raising the children. The amount typically depends on the income of both parents, the number of children, and the custody arrangement. The division of debts is another topic that needs to be addressed. Like assets, debts acquired during the marriage need to be divided fairly between the spouses. This includes credit card debt, mortgages, and loans. Lastly, there's the matter of health and life insurance. The agreement should clearly outline who will be responsible for maintaining health insurance coverage and whether life insurance policies will be maintained to secure any support obligations. To sum up, the key topics that need to be covered in a separation agreement include the division of property, spousal support, child custody and visitation, child support, division of debts, and insurance matters. Understanding these topics can make the process of creating a separation agreement less daunting and can help ensure a fair and equitable agreement for both parties. Remember, while the process can be difficult, having a well-thought-out separation agreement can provide peace of mind and stability during a challenging time. It's all about making the journey a bit smoother. Thanks for joining us today on this journey through the complexities of separation agreements. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing.